were running against that tripped out Broadwell system, that tripped out Intel system, but we're going to tie one arm behind our back. I'm going to show you Naples running in the green, the Intel system in the blue, and Naples will be limited to 44 physical cores, 22 cores per socket. Go ahead and let's kick it off, Joshua. And what you're going to see is this is not going to be particularly graphically interesting, I'm afraid. Um, you know, I think Jim and Lisa had all the cool graphics. But this is pretty cool results because we're running this, this analytics package against a billion grid um, a problem. And the, you'll notice the Intel system just started, finished loading the data and beginning its iterations. <coughs> where it takes 10 iterations to resolve that we uh, adequate residual, and the AMD system has already <coughs> completed. So it completed the load, which we're not even going to count in the results we're going to show you in a minute. And then we've completed 10 iterations through this massive data set to, to resolve this 3D Laplacian, discrete Laplacian transform. And so when you take a look, we have to wait a little bit for the Intel system to uh, finish. When you take a look at the result, you'll see same number of cores and the memory frequency of the AMD system turned down to 1866, which is on the Intel system. When you take a look at the result, what you'll see is we're about 2x faster if we tie one hand behind our back. And on this workload that truly requires a lot out of the cores, a lot out of the memory, and a lot out of the IO. Well, let's move on to the next uh, demo. And in here, I'm going to untie my arms. I'm going to show what Naples can do if you turn on all 32 cores. Go ahead and kick it off, Joshua. If you turn on all 32 cores, you bring the memory frequency up to our POR frequency that we'll have a bit. He started the AV system a little bit later. That's okay. We, we can give him a head start. And you fully unleash the beast. And so you'll notice again, the Intel system is just now starting its iterations, and the AMD system is almost done. And so this is, by the way, for those of you that care, this is running Ubuntu 16, I think 1604, 16 something. Uh, GCC compiled, you know, the systems are as identical as we can possibly make them, running exactly the same application. So we're trying to have a fair fight, but I'm afraid the fight's not very fair. And so uh, as we wait for the Intel system to conclude, I think you can get the general idea of what the result is going to be. And that said, we're about two and a half times faster than the fastest, the fastest Intel system. Now, look, not every workload looks exactly like this, but we do think this is a workload that's pretty representative. It requires uh, pretty much 100% CPU utilization on all the cores, makes maximum use of the memory, makes maximum use of the I/O. A lot of applications look just like this. Now let's, I think we've moved on to the larger data set. Um, oops, go back. <laughs> Cut up the, uh, the results slide too early. We moved on to the larger data set, if, I, if I'm seeing this correctly, which is we've increased the data set size to 4 billion samples, a larger reservoir size. And as we're trying to load the, the 4 billion uh, sample problem, Building grid problem into the Intel system, I think what you'll see here in a second is it's unable to load. Because the reason we're showing this, and in the Intel, the AMD system runs quite happily, the reason we're showing this is on the memory side, we're not just increasing the performance, we're also increasing the capacity. And so we're offering 33% more capacity as well as 120% of the, the Intel system. And so in this case, we were able to uh, uh, get through the problem in 63 seconds, and Intel had insufficient memory to load. And so, again, first demonstration of, of AMD Naples uh, for you, but we think this is representative of many workloads. We're incredibly excited. 
excited with what Mark and the team have 